Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to fine-tune your searches when you're looking for files or folders within Windows. So there's a few ways to do it. Um, obviously you could click on start here and type in a search here or if you have Windows 10 you have Cortana down here. So I have a Windows 7 VM here and then running on a Windows 10 computer. So I'm going to show you how they differ when it comes to searching. But let's say you want to do it like most people do. You're in Windows Explorer or File Explorer as they call it now and you want to do a search and you go to whatever drive you want to do it or whatever folder and you type stuff up in the search box here. And that's pretty much it. There's some filters you could use and they vary depending on what folder you're searching in. This is for Windows 7 by the way. So if you notice we're, if we're just in the C drive and we click we just either type it in or we could do a date modified or a size, you know, this is kind of generic, but that's your options there. But if you notice, we go to music and we go to search, then we have album artists and all these other ones related to music. And then pictures, we go to search, date, take, date taken, tags, and so on, videos, length, date created, and so on. So it kind of varies depending on what you're searching for. And that we could kind of narrow it down. So if we go back to pictures here and we want to search for um, type it gives you you know these type of things dot jpg whatever and you could type in to click on that and then it brings up all the ones that are dot jpg and you could add a name and that kind of thing so windows 7 not too handy when it comes to searches but for windows 8 and windows 10 they kind of took it up a notch so it makes it a lot more easier to find what you're looking for because you can kind of fine tune a little better. So now we're going to go over to Windows 10 here and you can see you know we're in our C drive we have our usual tabs up here you know kind of looks like office where you want to you know do your things and you know cha change your views and if you want to show file extensions and hidden items that sort of thing. And you'll notice when you click in the search box here this changes up here to search and now it brings you some new options so when you type in your thing here I don't know you know let's say I don't know what kind of files we have on this but this is some stuff we were playing with before um, you could have it search this PC the current folder which is Windows or all subfolders which would be all the subfolders of Windows or you could try a search again and these suggested areas like from the internet or from your file history or OneNote. Let's just stop that search. And then if you go here you have your date modified if you want to fine tune when that file was made there. And if you want to click here you have the kind of file it is. Some of these are not going to make sense to some people because you're not going to really know what a calendar file is unless you do. Um, if it's a document or an email, or these might come in more handy, movies and music and pictures, videos, and then back to size, similar to Windows 7. You want to kind of give it a size range, but you good chance you might not know what size it is. And then other suggested properties like the type, name, folder path, and the tags associated with that file. And then if you go over here, you have your recent searches. So we were searching for dog the other day. And you have your advanced options. So if you want to search for zip files or system files, or if you want to choose a different index location. And then once you make a search, if you want to save it, let's say you're going to search for that thing often, you can make that search and then save it there. And you'll be able to reuse that search without having to redesign it each time. And let's say it found something in that search. Uh, let's see if we do Notepad. Okay, so here's our search for Notepad. And let's say we click on this one. This is the one we want. Actually, we'll say it's uh, this one here. And if we click on Open File Location, it'll take you right to that location of that file. So then you could do it, do what you want with it from there. And if we click on Save Search. Then we could save the search, name it, you know, search for Notepad, and then bring it up later and do that same search. Now, one cool thing is if you want to kind of fine-tune your searcher. So we're going to search for Notepad 
date modified last week and the size small and kind we will do a I don't know what kind of file considers notepad but we'll just say it's a uh, let's just say no and then this is our search parameters right here so it's probably not going to find it here because we put the you know put the kind as note there so it's probably not going to find it as a note but if we took that part off and let's see if it finds it we might have to fine-tune some more actually it probably won't because it has wasn't modified last week but you know this is for a notepad so that's different than if you're searching for like a document where it might have been changed where you could actually string all these searches together and then save that search and then use it for your uh, next search so anyway so yeah so back to you know Windows 7 like I said it varies depending on what folder you're in and for Windows 8 and 10 once you click in the search box here then you'll have all these options where you can just kind of fine-tune your search and hopefully uh, find it that way. So give those a shot next time you search for something and just once you get the hang of it you'll really be able to narrow down your searches and hopefully find what you're looking for. Thanks for watching.